Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. They are talking about your look, hallelujah, your appearance. Someone is talking about your looks and your appearance. This is the title of this particular prophetic word. I bless God for a new day that he has made it possible for us to see it is a privilege and not a right. Somebody, under the sound of my voice, if you're joining me for the very first time, God bless you. You're very much welcome to Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. In the name of Jesus, it's a new day. Hallelujah. Whenever we wake up in the morning, let's be positive as we start our day to receive all blessings. What makes today different from yesterday is the new blessings that God and the new things that God is doing for us. For in Jesus' name. Do not be cheated by calendars. Do not be cheated by date and time. In Jesus' name. If you have not yet subscribed, you are the only one remaining. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. Kindly click on the subscription button to become part of this amazing family. For in Jesus' name. This prophetic word title again says, this someone is talking about your looks and your appearance. There is somebody under the sound of my voice that this particular prophetic word is addressing your situation. Right now, you're very much ashamed. Hallelujah. You're ashamed of yourself because of the way people have been calling you names. You're ashamed the way people treat you. You're ashamed the way people judge you. You're ashamed the way people classify you. People call you names. They classify you. They talk down on you. When people look down on you, do not look down on yourself. When people talk down on you, do not talk down on yourself. Believe that the Redeemer is still living. Believe that your God is still the God of miracle. Don't, don't cry. Do not ask yourself question, why me? God made it possible for you because he knows that that was the only process for you to pass through in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God hid the process of Joseph. He only showed him the throne as a prime minister. If the process was revealed, Joseph would have never been the prime minister. That was your process. They are talking about you. They are criticizing you. They are calling your name. Let them call your name. You are, the Bible says God is not the man to lie. Neither the son of man to repent. He knows the plan he has for you. The thought of good and not of evil. You are crying because someone break your heart. Listen. God permitted that for happen for your promotion in the name of Jesus. When you look in the book of Moses, Miriam tried by all possible means to talk back against the prophet Moses. The Bible said God was the one that fought Miriam. God was the one that struck Miriam with the spirit of leprosy. Child of God, the Lord is fighting your battle. For all those that are talking back, back against you, hold your peace. Do not worry. Do not be afraid. God is fighting your battle. Do not be afraid. Stand, stand your ground. Moses told the Israelites, Fear not and stand still. For the Egyptians you see today, you shall see them no more. You shall see them no more. Stand your ground. The Lord is fighting your battle. God made it possible for you to come across this particular prophetic word so that this word might relieve you. This word is coming to you as a painkiller. This, this word is coming to kill your pain. This is a painkiller to your system. It's coming to wipe your tears. It's coming to key that pain. It's coming to heal. It's coming to transform you. It's coming to make you know that you have value. Do not give up. Hallelujah. Even Sarah was mocked. Sarah was mocked by a woman she picked from, from Egypt as slave, as maid. After everything, after the effort, you are here under the sound of my voice. You spend a lot of time investing on people. You train people. You help people. But yet, the same people where the where the, 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 the same people turn in return to betray you. Or oh, at the end, the Bible says, Haggai, mock at Sarah. The end, they made mock at Sarah just because he had a child. But God never forgo, forgot about Sarah. God might be too late, but he is late to make you the latest. Don't give up. Refuse to give up. In that area, refuse to give up. I pray for somebody under the sound of my voice. You will not give up in the name of Jesus. 
in whatever area in your life, you will not give up. Do not give up. Hit your hands on your chest and stand. Tell your God, Father, I know they are talking about my looks. I know they are calling me names. I know people are saying I can never get married. I am ugly. I am this. I know you made me in your image. You designed me like this for somebody desire. Who, where is my desire? Make that prayer. Stand on your ground and don't give up. Believe me, child of God, don't give up. When there is life, there is hope. As I earlier said, this word is coming to you as a painkiller. Whenever you take a painkiller, it relieves your stress. It kills the pain. You don't feel anything. Let go. God will fight your battle. Let it go. God will fight your Miriam. Let it go. God will open a new door for you. Let it go. God will give you your own Isaac. Let Ishmael go. God will give you your own Isaac. Let those that, that got their own child already, let it go. God will give your own child. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen.